In a time so distant it's hard to fathom, our home planet will face a fate that is both inevitable and awe-inspiring. Delving into the realm of stellar evolution, we find that stars, much like living beings, have a life cycle. They're born, they live, and they die. Our sun, the fiery ball of gas that lights our days and warms our world, is no exception. It's currently middle-aged in stellar terms, but like all things, it too will age and change. In about 7 billion years, our sun will expand, its outer layers reaching out into the cosmos, and when that happens, it will swallow the Earth, a far-fetched reality, yet a reality nonetheless. To understand our end, we must first understand our beginning. Our sun, this radiant star that has been our constant companion, was born around 4.6 billion years ago. It began its life in the cosmic nursery of a nebula, a vast cloud of gas and dust. The pull of gravity forced these particles together, creating a dense core. As this core grew denser and hotter, the pressure became so great that hydrogen atoms began to fuse into helium, releasing a tremendous amount of energy. This process, known as nuclear fusion, marked the birth of our sun. It ignited, casting its light and warmth into the cosmos, and began its main sequence stage. Over time, the sun's light provided the energy necessary for life to evolve on Earth. The sun's birth was a cosmic event of grand proportions, a fiery spectacle that laid the groundwork for the existence of life as we know it. A fiery birth setting the stage for the drama of life. Now in its midlife, our sun continues to burn bright. This middle-aged star of ours is currently in what astronomers call the main sequence stage, a prime time in a star's life where it is stable, consistent, and for our benefit, a reliable energy source. The sun's energy output is immense. Every second it converts around 4 million tons of matter into energy. This energy powers the photosynthesis in plants, drives the weather on our planet, and even fuels our own bodies. But despite its current stability, our sun is undergoing a slow transformation. The hydrogen at its core is gradually being converted into helium. As this process continues, the core shrinks and the outer layers of the sun expand. This is a subtle yet relentless process that will eventually lead to significant changes in our solar system. A beacon of life, yet a ticking time bomb. But what happens when a star begins to die? A star's death is not an instantaneous event, but rather a gradual process that unfolds over millions, even billions of years. The sun, our very own star, will follow a similar path. When a star like the sun exhausts its nuclear fuel, it enters the red giant phase. This phase is marked by the expansion of the star's outer layers. The core of the star shrinks, but its outer envelope balloons outwards. For the Sun, this expansion will be so dramatic that it will swallow the inner planets, Mercury and Venus, and likely reach the Earth. But before this happens, the Sun will go through a stage called helium burning. This is when the core of the Sun, which has run out of hydrogen to fuse into helium, begins to fuse helium into heavier elements, like carbon and oxygen. This process releases a tremendous amount of energy, causing the sun to shine even more brightly. However, the helium burning stage can't last forever. Once the helium in the core is depleted, the sun won't have enough pressure or temperature to fuse carbon into heavier elements. This is when things start to go downhill. The core of the sun will contract under its own gravity and the outer layers will expand even further. In about 5 billion years from now, the Sun will have expanded to such an extent that it will engulf our planet, marking the end of life on Earth as we know it. But even then, the Sun's story doesn't end. It will continue to evolve, shedding its outer layers into space and leaving behind a dense core, a white dwarf which will slowly cool over billions of years. The death of our Sun is a natural part of the life cycle of stars a cosmic ballet that has been performed countless times across the universe. It's a reminder of our fleeting existence in the grand scheme of things and a testament to the ever-changing nature of the cosmos, a fiery end, a return to the cosmic dust. So what will the Earth's final act look like? Imagine, if you will, a time seven billion years into the future. Our sun, once a beacon of light and life, has swelled into a red giant, its outer layers reaching out into the cosmos engulfing the inner planets. As it expands, the Earth's fate is sealed. This is the end game, the final act of our blue-green planet. The first signs of the impending doom will be subtle. 
The sun's heat will escalate, becoming unbearable. The ice caps, our planet's ancient sentinels, will melt away, causing sea levels to rise dramatically. Coastal cities, once bustling with life, will be swallowed up by the oceans, their skylines disappearing beneath the waves. As the sun continues to expand, the oceans themselves will begin to evaporate. A thick, steamy fog will envelop the Earth, obscuring the sun's light and casting the world into a perpetual twilight. The once vibrant and diverse ecosystems will wither and die, succumbing to the relentless heat and lack of sunlight. The world that was once teeming with life will become a barren wasteland. But the Earth's final act is not yet complete. The sun's expansion will continue until it reaches our planet's orbit. At this point, the Earth will be engulfed by the sun's outer layers. The heat will become so intense that the ground itself will begin to melt, the crust breaking apart and the mantle exposed. Finally, the Earth will be incinerated, its existence reduced to a cosmic memory. It's a sobering thought, the inevitability of our planet's demise, but it's also a testament to the awe-inspiring power of the cosmos, a reminder of our place within it. We are but temporary inhabitants of this Earth, part of a larger cosmic story that spans billions of years. The Final Curtain Call, a grand finale of cosmic proportions. In the aftermath, what remains? With the Earth swallowed, our home star has now entered its final phase, the Sun, once a fiery ball of gas and plasma has exhausted its nuclear fuel and has shrunk into a dense, hot core known as a white dwarf. This celestial body, though smaller, is still extraordinarily dense and hot. It has the mass of the sun, but its volume is comparable to that of Earth. Now you might think that with the sun's transformation and Earth's demise, our solar system story ends here. But the universe, in its infinite wisdom and complexity, has the knack for creating life from destruction. The White Dwarf, though no longer capable of nuclear fusion, continues to radiate its residual heat into space. This process will take billions of years during which the White Dwarf will gradually cool and dim. But while it does, the remnants of the Sun's planetary system, the asteroids, comets, and possibly even some surviving planets, continue to orbit around this White Dwarf. Over time, these remnants could potentially collide and stick together, gradually forming new planetary bodies. And who knows, perhaps these new planets might one day become habitable, a place where life can once again flourish. Of course, this is all speculative and based on our current understanding of the universe. We don't know for sure what the future holds, but what we do know is that the universe is in a constant state of change and evolution. Stars are born, they live and they die, and in their death, they sow the seeds for new stars, new planets, and maybe, just maybe, new life. This is the beauty of the universe. 